Hello, welcome to another Bob's vlog on the 31st of October. So, is that Happy Halloween? I'm not sure this will say Happy Halloween. Anyway, 31st of October. And I'm out in a place called College Green. Um, a bit of background noise, apologies. I've got Palace of Westminster behind me. And just over here, if the cameraman wants to zoom around slightly, we have the Jewel Tower, um, which used to be part of the, of the Palaces of the Westminster Abbey, I think. Um, two things very quickly today. Firstly, I'm just going to touch on the budget. I thought it was a really good budget, actually. I thought we, we got it right, and I congratulate the Chancellor. It was a budget aimed at working families. Um, so tax thresholds, new increased tax thresholds coming in sooner than expected, which is going to help working families. It was a really good budget for small businesses as well, with business rates slashed, which is very important, especially post-Brexit. 80% of our economy is made up of small businesses. And on the island, small businesses are absolutely the driver of the economy, so we need to be supporting those small businesses. We also are gonna to start to have the big boys, um, especially with the, the, the um, internet giants, beginning to pay more tax. That's gonna happen slowly and from a low base, but we're gonna establish that principle, and that's really important, because it is wrong that small businesses, and islanders, for example, are paying much more than people like Amazon and Google not acceptable so we're going to try to address that balance um, okay so that's the budget um, secondly ferries I've written to the ferry firms this week we've had about 10 weeks now of intermittent delays and cancellations in a way that I don't think is acceptable and it's built up over time and we've had thousands of islanders whose lives are being inconvenienced by uh, a breakdown in service for whatever reasons be it legal be it technical be it mechanical uh, be it ferries running aground um, etc. And we've had problems also with the hovercraft. So I've written to all three and I want them to explain themselves better to islanders and to explain that actually I think I want to know why they're not running the services that they promised. If you want to run a service that you promise you're going to run, you should run it. And there are too many cancell cancellations and too many delays. Um, so let's wait and see what answers we get from them. I'm sure there will be a follow-up conversation uh, and letters next week as well. Anyway, that's all for me for the moment. So from a sunny College Green, I'll see you very soon and thank you for watching.